G'day Aquarius, welcome to TJ Terry Down Under. Fix my sign. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you as at now. See what's going on, eh? So, this is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements. Or you can check out my playlist and see if something resonates for you there with your current timeline. Cross watches, this could be you, but if it's not, it will be somebody else, so keep that in mind. Thank you all so much for your likes, shares, subscribes, and views. Every single one of you is greatly appreciated. Thank you. And of course, the decks I'm using today will be listed below in the description box in the order that I'm using them. Yes, this tablecloth is driving me nuts. <laughs> all right. Oh. Oh. All right, Aquarius, let's get a message for you. Let's start with Passion. I lay your heart and soul to sing with joy. I think you get this card quite a lot. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world and let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So you've got this passion for somebody that you think could be the one, but you backed off a bit to get some, oh, hang on, there's a card in the between there, free yourself. See, that was hiding. Let your friends help you. You want to get back control of your life. You want to free yourself. Why? Get yourself free. To make the effort, let your friends help you. You're retreating to get back control of your life. Religious factors wants to show itself. Something to do with your belief systems when it comes to love. Whoa. Wow. You want to give this a chance, but you've got to get to know this person first. Yeah, you're trying to stay optimistic here. So you're retreating to it because you yeah. Wow. Separation. So you separated yourself from this person, even though you want to make the effort. What's going on, Gem um, Gemini? Aquarius. Could be dealing with the Gemini, but... Mm -hmm. You've got an attraction here. You enjoy the moments you spend with this person, and you feel like it could be safe for you to love them, but... Hmm. There's that passion again. Alright, give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Aquarius, please. If you're new to my channel, um, I read from the bottom of the decks, but I, for the main read, I take jumpers and flippers, and I don't take reversals. Wow. They feel like you feel. One more, please. Thank you. Okay. So they've got passion as well. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. They feel the passion for you too, Lee. Um, Aquarius. God, I'm calling you every other air sign. What's going on? Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Wow. So they're waiting for the right time here to... Mm, they're keeping an open mind. Your soul mate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So you might be a bit different to their usual type here. I think you're worth waiting for and they're feeling that passion. Oh, that's hurting my throat. But they also have retreated. Disconnect from the world. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So they've retreated to review their belief systems when it comes to love. Finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So they're looking at their stability, wanting to come in safe to open their heart. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So they want to know that it's safe to love. They want to be safe to love. Working on their stability, looking at their belief systems. That's why they've retreated. They're hoping that you're worth waiting for. 
that you'll wait for them too, that you see them as worth waiting for. Hmm. Can't remember what you got last week. Oh, last read, I should say. It's not last week. Last read. Mm -hmm. Alright, Aquarius, Will. Sliding around. What's the advice for you? The Fool. Take that leap of faith. Ooh, Three of Swords. Heartbreak. Ten of Pentacles. Long term stability. The Death card. Transformation. Yeah, well, that's, that's pretty much it, isn't it? That's why the Fool is is the leap of faith because it's a risk you can take this leap of faith you may get your heart broken you may get long-term stability here something's going to change though yeah something will end so something new can begin maybe the heartache will end and the stability will begin you got lots of options here. Mm, things are going to change though. Passionate new beginning. Oh, but something's out in the cold. It's your choice. Wow, this is up and down and not, you know, in and out, off and on. Feeling like a wounded warrior, but manipulating, being single, moving on. Whoa, what's going on, Libra? Oh, I'm hearing a, and a lot of people won't know this song, but you can Google it if you want. Um, it'll be on YouTube. Um, and it's the kind of sugar Papa likes. Now, I, I don't know if it's a, if that's his original song or not. The only version I know is done by Peter Chris from Kiss. Um, but I'm hearing that. Um, I don't know if I'm up or down, lost or found with you. Um... Yeah, and that's what I think you feel. You want to take passionate action here and have a successful relationship, but that's that passion. But don't come across like a player. Just seeking attention. Not if you want that stability, but do you want it? I don't know. I don't know what you want. No wonder they don't know. <laughs> well... Yeah, you're worried about disappointment though. Okay, you don't want disappointment. Alright, tell me about passion for this love energy coming towards Aquarius, please. Your energy is confusing. No wonder I was calling you all different air signs. Because you got me confused. Alright, we've got two nines, nine of cups, nine of swords, and... The king of wands, fire energy. Well, they have, sorry, not you, they have. <laughs> okay, so they feel that passion. They feel that passion for you. You are their wish fulfillment, but what are they going to do about it? They can't sleep at night thinking about that passion with you, trying to be, stay in control of their passion and their actions here. Feeling you're very charismatic and sexy and you know what you want they know what they want it's doing their head in because they want you hmm. yeah because this passion between you as much as it is a wish fulfillment and it makes them feel good um it's also doing their head in so they're trying to just control this passion that they have, but it's hard. And there's the Knight of, Knight of Wands. Actions of passion. <laughs> and then we've got the, the Page of Wands. Messages of passion, so flirting, in and out passionate energy, but still trying to keep it into con under control. But, ooh, Seven of Swords, the Hermit, and the Three of Cups, oh no. Flirty messages, but they're sneaking around. Ghosting people, third parties. 
Yeah, they need to close out this cycle. They know they need to close it out, but there's still secrets here. Even though they want to charge into you and have this love, there's secrets. Oh, look, there's the Queen of Wands. The whole family's here. Passion, passion, passion. Could be uh, someone else that they're um, juggling. Uh-oh. Too much passion here, um, Aquarius. Too much passion. No wonder you're confused. Yeah, there's a, uh, there's a Seven of Cups. But then the Page of Pentacles landed on there. And we've got the Empress here. But yeah, you're confused about if there's any stability here. Yeah, no wonder. Yeah, they've got options. Who do they want to pick to be stable with? And grow something with? They're at a crossroads trying to choose. <sighs> yeah, look at all the options they've got. Alright, tell me about worth waiting for, for this love energy coming towards Aquarius, please. Oh, that's better. I've got the confusing energy out of the way. It's all just too much passion. The Knight of Swords, air energy that flew out and hit me. This is your energy. They want to come in with some truth here, or they want to take action to cut things out, and they're hoping that you'll wait for the right time. Well, they cut some things out here, which of course is that indecision, those choices at the crossroads. Yeah, they want you to wait while they cut some people out, but they've got choices to make here. They want to move forward triumphantly, but they're juggling too many people here. They want a new beginning. But they've got a lot of attention around them. They want the new beginning to be successful. Um, they're trying to get balance to move forward. Okay. Okay. Well, that's a bit better. Okay. Yeah, they want love. Ace of Cups. Tell me about keeping an open mind for this love energy coming towards Aquarius, please. What was that that flipped? I know, it flipped. There it is. The sun. So, they know you, they're keeping an open mind that you could be their happiness. You could be their sunshine, my only sunshine. Um, yeah, they're trying to keep an open mind that you're a bit different. They're trying to see very, they see very clearly that you're different. You're their sunshine. You, the one, you are the one that makes them the happiest. Wow, a knight of cups. They want to show actions of love with you, not just passion. Got actions of love, water energy, and then we've got the two of cups. They see that you could be meeting eye to eye emotionally here, having long term stability here. That's what they want to manifest a stable beginning. Wow, 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 Aquarius. That's why they've retreated, because they've got to cut some other people out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, my sign's disappearing out of the picture. Ow. You know it's me. <laughs> it's because this thing gets heavy and starts tilting down. All right message for Aquarius is perfect timing see yes <laughs> yes big happy changes compromise yeah 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 something that's balanced we will compromise with each other yeah you just gotta wait this you know divine timing perfect timing 
yes, just wait for the right timing here. Big, there will be big happy changes. Um, it's all going to balance out here. Yeah, you'll get more information on what's going on here. Just wait, just wait. I'm not getting weight, but well, maybe it's up to you. God, it's up to you. But yeah, they got passion. Hmm, perhaps they were only in it for passion to begin with. But now that time's going by, they know they've got to cut out those other choices because. They're seeing you as the one. Yeah, get more information though. Always get more information. Let's make sure they have cut these other p options out before they, before you open up to them. All right, give me three cards on the love energy coming towards Aquarius, please. What else can you tell us about them? <laughs> Very nice. Come on. Give me two more, please. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Don't know what the middle one was, but I saw what the last one is. So they have big happy changes, just like you. Woohoo! I feel that's what she's saying. Woo! <laughs> wow. Forgiveness. Oh, wow. Wow, and then we have romance, which is very rare. I see this card come out. The romance card. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What's at the bottom? There's something better. Ask your angels. The situation will improve. No. Not the right time. Listen to your intuition. Wait. Peaceful resolution. Yeah, okay. So they know there's something better than just passion out there. They've been asking their angels about you, hoping this situation will improve, but no, it won't improve. It's not the right time because they've got to listen to their intuition here. And they've got to wait because they've got to resolve things with other people first. Hmm. Yeah, the signs are telling them, yes, they've got to let go of those other people. Communicate clearly and there you go, let go. Yep, because they know you are something better than the rest. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they, they see these big happy changes they could have with you and they're going to ask for forgiveness for treating you like an option, um, yeah, and they're coming and romance you, because they know you are something better, wow, it's good that they see your worth, all right, message for Aquarius, please, wow, four of wands, ace of swords, ace of pentacles, wow, and the Four of Cups. So look, there could be passionate stability here. With the truth, th there needs to be truth and clarity and communication here. Stability is what you want right from the start. Truth, stability and yeah, passionate stability. Yeah, you're looking at this divine cup as an offer here of something that could grow. You you don't want to miss this opportunity to grow something with this person. You see the potential of it, that's for sure. Hmm. I have a pentacles out in the cold. What's at the bottom? The hermit card. Yeah, you spent a bit of time out in the cold and had a good look at yourself and healed. Done some self-work here. Um, I think you, I'm, I'm getting the, um, 
if it's not what you want, you're quite happy to leave it out in the cold and just be on your own rather than, yeah, not having and committing to something just for the sake of a commitment. Yeah. There's passion. There's definitely passion here. But if it's all just about passion, I don't think you'll leave it out in the cold. Because you're pretty controlled with your passions because you're looking for long-term commitment here. And if it is just passion, we can see here, you will move on. Because you're looking for an empress to grow with, male or female. What else do you want to say? Well, I want to talk. Yeah, there's got to be balance, give and take for you. It's got to be balanced and yeah, or else you're holding back your emotions. You're not going to show love. You want long-term stability. A real relationship. Tell me about big happy changes for this love energy coming towards Aquarius, please. Okay, might need to tap it again. Alright, tell me about big happy changes. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Wow. Okay. So they have Eight of Wands, The Hangman, The Nine of Swords, the Page of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, wow! So that's definitely changing, yeah. So, yeah, there's this flirting, this passionate communication back and forth, but they're starting to see this from a different perspective here and it's uh, freaking them out a bit. <laughs> Um, yeah, they think about you at night. They can't stop thinking about you. They can't sleep at night because they realize that they're only, they're just sending these flirty little messages to something that could be a long-term commitment here. Hmm. Something that starts out just with the, you know, passionate messages could end up being something long term and it's making them really happy. Wow, that this could transform into something long term stability. They want this to transform because, wow, look at this Ten of Cups. They want this happily ever after with you. They want this to change really fast from just being the King and Queen of Passion which will just end in a painful ending here. Yeah, they know they've got to end things with um, the competition here to actually have a real chance with you. Otherwise, there will be heartbreak when they know they want this stability. They do want this happily ever after with you. They're realizing that you are the real deal. This is a big happy change, someone that is completely different. Yeah, five of pentacles and nine of pentacles. They want to leave that single life out in the cold. They want balance, give and take. They, they feel like they've found someone that's, that they can get balance, give and take with. Don't have to play the, you know, the passion game anymore. Which <laughs> did their head in, really was doing the head in. They felt they were stuck in it. That's all that that that's all there was. There was no way out of it. It was just a passion game. <sighs> Commitment is here. Wow. That's a big change, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah, they've been really confused with all the other options here. They want a whole new beginning. They want to walk away from these options and take that leap of faith. Alright, tell me about forgiveness for this love energy coming towards Aquarius, please. You can see why they want forgiveness, but let's just see what the cards say. Wow. 
Queen of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Temperance, and the Strength card. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, they want forgiveness for not realizing that you were coming in, offering love and stability here. And uh, they want to apologize as well for making you wait while they tame that beast. Which is the, the passion that was out of control here. <sighs> Taming that beast, being strong. Trying to be patient. They want forgiveness for your patience. While they tame that beast. Because they had no idea that you were offering love and stability. Queen of Pentacles, Earth Energy. All queens are loving. And she's the queen of stability. Love and stability. Wow. Wow. Yeah, and there's the apology. Page of Cups, apologize. They want forgiveness and they're going to apologize. Because they had no idea that you were coming in. And that they even had this choice. That the Divine just brought in for them. Queen of Swords, Air Energy. Six of Wands. The Emperor. And the Eight of Swords. Yeah. They've been feeling trapped for a long time, but um, they're feeling more in control now. That they can see that there can be success with you. Someone that will, is coming correctly. That wants to open their heart to someone who's truthful. <sighs> wow, that's your energy, Aquarius. Wow, yep, they want this to charge forward triumphantly. <sighs> Still with the passion, though. <laughs> yeah, don't leave the passion out. They don't want the passion to go away. But there will be actions of love. Look at that, Nine of Cups again. Actions of love. Wow, look at that, Two of Cups. And under this deck is the Two of Cups. Wow. And they want to celebrate it. <sighs> Aquarius. Yep, success. They want this to be successful. That's for sure. Six of Wands. Yeah. It's a bit of fear here though. Walking away from all the secrets. Walking away from all the secrets. I'm so glad to see that. Yep. And all that holding back. Yeah. Well that was because of heartbreak. That's why people do what they do. That's why there's that's why there's those competition you know, competition, multiple people. Because someone's got their heartbreak and then they don't want to open up. So mm, that's all changing though. They want forgiveness for not opening up. What's that? Page of Swords, they just didn't have the right information. Hmm. And now they know what they know. They can control their passions. I think instinctively they were trying to um, manifest this. But yeah, but happily ever after. Oh, this is beautiful. Tell me about romance for this love energy coming towards Aquarius, please. So we've got the Nine of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. I think they um, were just about to give up on white romance. That it was all just passion. They were about to give up. 
they have one more they were given it one more chance and now they can see that this is something they want to put the work into the romance they want to put that romance into this they're tired of all just the passion and the lust and the action they want something solid that they can work on and have a true romance the emperor something that they can run an empire grow an empire with someone the emperor and the empress something that can feel like they're in control of themselves because the passion and the lust and all that it's not really controlled it's out of control really it's just lusty action it's there's no control no self-control they want to feel like they feel self-control but there's stability and that's another thing the emperor that represents is stability a stable romance that they can work on mm. yeah they were you know there was a lot of heartbreak for them but they want this whole new beginning they want to take this leap of faith and have this stability with you Aquarius they want to plant the seeds and grow with you oh yes oh yes I'm gonna close out all that heartbreak and all that you know that lusty energy which is just a lot of people with broken hearts trying to heal them the wrong way or trying to hide from healing them yeah wow yep actions of love after that painful ending they can finally heal because they now see what real love is and someone wants to invest in them someone wants stability with them someone wants to take a leap of faith with them they can finally heal and see their own self-worth again understand what the worth of love is that were I'm looking at that worth up there worth waiting for their own worth not that someone else can make you feel better but like you know well someone can you know just by showing them that life's not all about the lust game not everybody is a you know just a user player there are good people left in the world wow Aquarius you have shown them that there is still love people that want love in this world because I don't think they thought there was and it's an amazing it's amazing that just the fact that you have shown them that you want love and stability that they are willing to dump that entire life cut out all the other options because you are worth it they can see so much of a of a stable future with you in love with stability truth um and just and the passion is there as well but it's not a, it's not a band-aid anymore all right what would you like to say aquarius oh this is nice oh i want you back i wish i had treated you better i am not available i still love you so you want this person back you want you want to show this person love you wish you hadn't have come in with any of the lusty things just to have been about the passion you wish you had have shown them love right from the start you're not available for that passion stuff um, but you will still love them even if they don't choose that if they don't choose love you'll still love them but you're not available for anything but love and stability and you wish you had shown them that in the start from the start 
because I think he's had a, a bit of a lusty encounter. But, hmm. Wow. Uh, ooh. You still think they're hot. <laughs> you are hot, so hot. Yeah. Um but you're sorry if you um hurt them by, you know, just being about the last if that's you know didn't want it to you didn't want it to come across that way at all. No, you didn't. Yeah, you didn't want it. Want them to think that they couldn't trust you. Yeah, you couldn't act like that. You can't do. You you couldn't do that anymore. You couldn't. You can't keep it a secret either. That, that you want to see them again, and you want something that's real, that's trustworthy, that's safe. Yeah, I'm repeating myself. You're pretending you don't care at the moment because you don't know what this person is up to. You think it's just, they're just wanting lust with you. But they're retreating to look at their belief systems in love, become more stable and come in. See, and this is right from the start. They're retreating to review at what they believe in love. Getting themselves more stable so they can come to you safe with an open heart. See, it's been through the whole reading that they want to cut out those other people and come to you stable, grounded, ready for real love. Oh, this is beautiful. I almost want to cry. All right, the love energy coming towards Aquarius. What would they like to say to Aquarius? At least three cards, please. Oh, they got me right in the heart. This is beautiful. It's happy tears. It's happy tears. Oh, look at that. At least two more, please. What do they want to say to Aquarius? Not them. Okay. Okay, them ones. All right. Okay. So they have, I love your smile. Aww. They love to make you smile too. I know I've got this white nail polish on, but my undernails isn't <laughs> quite as white. It's like a pearl though. Anyway, sorry, I'm just I'm just really happy for you. Um, I want you back. They want you back. They want you in their life. They, yep. But they want you back in a different way. Because see, you feel like home. You've shown them what love and stability of a home a loving home could be. That's why they want you back. And look, I feel safe with you. That's right, because you're not all about this game playing passion and lust. <sighs> yeah. And I can't right now. No, that's right, because they've got to go and cut out all those lusty partners that they thought you were one to. So they're going to go and tell them all, no, sorry, I found stability. I found someone real. So you can all just lose my number because, yeah, you make my skin tingle. I'm sorry I hurt you. Yeah, they know. Um, I'm not ready to be with you yet. No, not yet. Not yet. 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 I look at your pictures a lot. Oh, yeah, they're looking at your pictures and they're making up stories about <sighs> used to being together, but not yet. Because, yeah, they can't right now. They gotta, yeah, they gotta get rid of all the other people because they don't want to hurt you any more than they already have. Well, they think they have. Um, yeah. They, like I said, they didn't know. They didn't know. They want forgiveness because they didn't know that you were for real. They've had so many people that have just been about the last that, yeah, they didn't know you were real. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, my God. 
this is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> Can't say it again anymore. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Wow. Alright Aquarius, well that's your reading, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and I expect a lot of likes for this one because yeah, oh wow, what a way to end, <laughs> end all the readings, yes you are always last, I save the best till last and this is the best, this is the best reading of the, of the, this, this session of readings, this is the best reading, this is the best reading, I'm sorry, yeah, Sorry all you other signs, but you've got the best reading, Aquarius. you got the best reading. Wow. Alright. Hmm. Hmm. Well, all the best. Good luck. Just, yeah, give them time. They're not going anywhere. All they're doing is going and cutting out all the other... Passion people. Because they see you as the real deal. Don't stuff it up. <laughs> oh well, you know. I'm sure you won't. Alright, well all the best. Take care, good luck. And I'll catch you later.